What's up guys? So I'm just gonna walk you through a real quick setup here of the bat speed recon. You can see I walk in with the traveling case and the tripod attached to the bottom. Just take that tripod out, stand it up. Then I'm gonna take the mounting piece off of that tripod after I pull the bat speed recon unit out. I take that mounting piece, I just screw it right into the bottom of the bat speed recon. It's a standard screw size, so any tripod uh, will fit just like any camera will fit on all these different tripods. Uh, go ahead and mount it on there. I face it towards the T. You're going to see that the side that has the plexiglass is going to be the side that faces the T right there. Now, as I'm setting it up, I want to try to have it slightly below the T since that swing will be happening on an arc. We want it about 18 to 24 inches away from the T. We also want it right in front of impact. So we want it just before the moment of impact. We want to make sure that it's not set up with the baseball in between the two culminators that collect the data. Um, we want it just before. And as you can see right there, we want it about one to two inches behind the T. So that's what I'm talking about when I say right before impact. So now the unit's right where it needs to be for the set. So the next step is to get these bats ready to go. So then I'm gonna go ahead and grab these reflective stickers that come with it and put it on the ends of the bat. Right here, I just put that sticker on the end of the underload bat, about a 20% underload. That's a bat that we got from Axe Bat, great training bat. You can also get just like a lighter fungo, something of that nature. And then this is my game bat. I'm gonna go ahead and put the reflective sticker right on the tip of that one as well. As you can see, I've got an eight ounce donut that I'm gonna use for my overload sets right there. And now I'm pretty much set up and ready to go in terms of getting into my sets. Um, I've got the light bat, the game bat, and the overload bat. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the amount of reps that I want for this particular set. I'm gonna go with eight on this one, as you can see. Pretty much lined up, set to go, and we're off right into the bat speed training. So I'm doing a set of eight right here. Now you can see right there, it read the first one. If I put this T up super high, you can see it didn't read that one right there. It was up too high. So you have to make sure when you're setting it up that you have the tip of that bat passing in front of the unit. So there's a dispersion angle. It's fairly wide and it picks up most everything, but if the T starts to sneak up too high or if it's too low, um, that'll sort of change how easy it is for it to read. And then you're also gonna be able to see when you finish the set, it says eight swings, the average was 88.2 and the peak or the best overall speed was 90.2. I have a clipboard right there uh, with my bat speed program that's on it. Anytime you purchase one, they go ahead and send you that program along with it, like a sample program. Um, so I record that average and that peak. It's really, really important when you're doing these sets to make sure that you're recording it because you're actively trying to break your records for each one of the bats, the game bat, the heavy bat, and the light bat with all of these sets. And then you can see I jump right into that heavy bat right there. And finish it on up.